Hello, I'm Sally uh, and I'd like to introduce you all to the wonderful Kew Village. I've been uh, in business here for just over 25 years with a children's shoe shop called The Shoe Station. We're a very close community in Kew. There are many businesses here that have been here for a long time. You're going to enjoy meeting them. So we'll start with the shoe station. Let's go in and have a look. Welcome to the shoe station. I'm going to introduce you to Fiona here, who's our manageress. Fiona, show us around. Hello. So here we are in the shoe station. Jelly Cat, one of our best-selling lines. Uh, we sell them to our lots of local kids, but also lots of international visitors who absolutely love them. It's a great brand and we sell them hand over fist. Yeah, we can me. barely get enough of I them, know. in fact. Yeah. And the more unusual it seems, the better. So for instance, our lovely little hamburgers here, all the foodie, foodie jelly yep. cats are really, really going well. If you walk down the store, we have all our kind of baby naught to 12 months. So you can obviously buy new baby gifts. And then we go into our one to three year old boxed and wooden toys. So and then we have lots of arts and crafts. These are fantastic gifts. If you're looking for a birthday gift, Christmas gift, whichever gift you wish. And then on the other side, we've got items, generally speaking, for slightly older children. So we've got lots of outdoor games and activities, puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, massive doll selection. And then obviously we have Lego, which again is a favourite in the shop. Most okay. people are amazed at how big it is in here. They see the front of the shop, but it goes way back on down here. Absolutely. It really is a one-stop shopping queue. So if you're looking for anything at all, we generally at the shoe station will be able to sell you something that you want. We then go on to what we really are experts at, and that is fitting shoes. We have staff here that are very, very experienced. We celebrated somebody's 20 year anniversary last week. We've got about 80 years worth of shoe fitting experience. We have a very wide selection of shoes, trainers, first walkers, all European brands, except for one which is Start Right, which everybody will know. But you can also buy them online. And if anybody is ever worried about the, the shoe size on their child's foot, we will just measure as a free service to you to make sure that that shoe is fitting correctly. We are a community of shops and independent shops specifically in Kew. We call it Kew Village because we all support each other. We have several community events throughout the year. It's a really great place to work. We get lots of international visitors. They're really amazed by how many products we have here. And they're usually products that you can't really find easily on the high street, which makes us very, very special indeed. So that was the shoe station. And now we're going to wander down to Mirwood, which is another beautiful, beautiful shop that you're about to see. And now we're going to walk past Mackerel. Hiya. Next door to us, they do the best poke bowls. Pyramid Pharmacy is one of two privately owned chemists that we have in the village. Both of them are great. And while we're here, we shouldn't miss this beautiful post box. This post box has been done specifically here by the knitting group that meets in the Greenhouse Cafe, which is down on the corner. Another lovely cafe that's been here in queue even longer than I have. Here we are at Mere Wood. Jessica here always has the most beautifully dressed windows. We're gonna go in and she's gonna show us around. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Sally, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Good, good. Um, you're gonna show us around today. But for me, the most amazing thing is always the smell in here. Yes, yeah, no, it's lovely. It's a bit of a mix of products, but I think as you walk in the door, the Ortesia that yeah. smells absolutely divine, which is an Italian brand. Okay. It's from the island of Ortesia, and it's got a lot of home fragrancing, but bath and body as well. And the graphics on the packaging are actually designed by, so I'm told, a man that grew up in Kew, and oh. I think his mum still lives here. We do ceramics and textiles. These are from a designer called Susie Watson. She's an English brand, so that's really nice. We source products really from Europe, and we try and get lots of English brands in, so it's a bit of a mix. And then we also do ladies' accessories, handbags. Jewellery is our sort of biggest seller and we have a range we try and do a price range 
um, to suit everybody. So the locals who come in and want something special, visitors who are passing and just uh, pop in on their way to or from the gardens. This is our little gardening area. So we've got some lovely little flower presses in here, which is great for people coming back from the gardens who've often picked up um, leaves or petals. So they're lovely. And then some planters and candlesticks and things like that. Also sort of ties in with the homewares. And then here we've got more ceramics and glassware and some of the textiles which are from Denmark. In the back of the store, we have a few more homewares. We also have Bath and Body brands and the lovely St. Evel, who are based in Cornwall. That's probably our best-selling candle product and they do a fantastic range of scents. And then we've got this lovely little children's area. I think we work really well together, everyone actually, all the business heads. We're all pretty good, don't we? We try not to have the same suppliers. And we complement each other, I think. And yeah. we always recommend each other if there's something we don't have. I always send people over to the shoe station. All the shops matter in the village. So yeah. the, the more independence there, there are and the more that we work to, together, the more the locals and the visitors can enjoy each of the shops. It really is a village. I know lots of places called villages now, but it really is the village on the doorstep of London. Right, now we're off to the Kew Gardener. This is the local butcher. This is Ben. Hiya. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, great meat, even better pastries. <laughs> So here we are at the Kew Gardener. I'm going to take you in and introduce you to Dan. Hi, Dan. Good morning. Perhaps we could start by you telling us how long have you been in Kew? I've had the shop at least 20 years. Um, and I came to Kew originally to study at Kew Gardens. I was meant to be here for three years. I'm still here 30 years later. Wow. My passion is plants, hence why I came to Kew in the first place. And so we're like a mini garden centre next to the train station. We've got an area out the back which a lot of people don't realise exists and it changes season by season. So we're just changing it over now into, into summertime. In November, December, it's full of Christmas trees. And now, now the plants are coming back in again. I've just ordered herbs. Um, we've got people love doing their own little herb gardens and putting them in the window boxes and things. In about two weeks' time, all the summer bedding plants will be coming in, the geraniums, begonias. We also do all these sort of things as well, all the shrubs and the, the Japanese maples are very popular, very colourful. They're beautiful this time of year, just coming out. They're quiet all winter time, and then they come out into these amazing, fresh, vibrant colours. And then every morning I'll put all the plants out here, I'll spend like an hour putting plants out, and then I have to pack it all away at the end of the day again. Bit of a workout, but it's, uh, I, I love doing it. I've been doing it, as I say, 20 years or so. We've got a mixture of customers. We've got a mixture of the local people. They might pot a past every day and they'll take a little plant as a gift. I had a chap the other day, he had a Christmas cactus and it was his mother's and it was very sentimental and it was like, he was holding this thing like it was <laughs> the last thing on earth, you know. And he um, said, please, can you repot this for me? So he didn't know what to do with it. I said, yeah, no problem. So we did that for him and he, he was over the moon. But yeah, people come in asking, my plant's gone yellow or it's got these flies on it, what do I do with it? And uh, yeah, we're able to answer the questions most of the time. We get um, a lot of people from coming back from Kew Gardens. So uh, often our busiest time of the day is, is when they're kicking people out. Now they, they walk back and they want a little memento, you know, pick up a pick up something on the way back. We also have a team of gardeners who go out to local gardens, uh, maintaining the gardens. We've even done work 20 floors up on the Shard. The, uh, the government of Malaysia, we'd planted a garden for them. Please come to Kew Village. Um, you know, we've got a lot of great shops here. Obviously, I think mine's great, but um, uh, there's the butchers, which, you know, there's not, there's not many great butchers like that left anymore. There's uh, shoe shops and great cafes. It's a great pub across the way. You know, there's a lot here. It's like a village in the city. So Dan, what you haven't mentioned <laughs> is the beautiful Christmas tree that you put up every year. 
Yes, for the past 20 years, we always supply Q's Christmas tree, and it's always good fun trying to put the thing up. And in addition to that, the whole village has fabulous Christmas lights every year. That is funded partly by the traders, um, partly by Richmond Council, and also we go out into the community and we ask for donations. Q Society donate as well, and the lights are up for eight weeks over Christmas. And the first other thing we should mention about Christmas is the first Friday of every December, uh, we have Q Sparkle. It's basically for the children. It's a Christmas market, fun fair, free for all, probably the best way we can put it. Um, and that was started by some of us traders. We're helped by a lot of um, outside local residents. Right, now we're off to Canopy on Excellent. the other side. Thanks so much, Dan. That's all right. See you Pleasure. soon. All right, thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. On the way to Canopy, we have to go and look at the bookshop. The bookshop has been here for ages. The most lovely people, they'll get anything you want. Lovely kids department, great advice for Christmas presents and everything. A real massive asset to the village. It's independent and independently curated, just brilliant. Here we are at Canopy, a really lovely little lifestyle boutique. Come on in and meet Stephanie. She's going to show us all around. Hi, Hi. Sally. Hi. Hi, Stephanie. Show us around this beautiful shop. Our lovely, our lovely little unique boutique in Kew. We've been here 18 years as Canopy. We do lots of lots of different products, obviously lots of shoes, but also lots of accessories. We've started doing some fashion wear as well, and some athletic wear, and lots of gifts and jewelry. We've just introduced our new spring collection, and you can see we've got lots of lovely new colors, fresh, fresh bright colors for spring and summer. Um, we, we select our shoes from, they're all over Europe, Spain and Germany, lots of Italian shoes. We have a really good cross section of offerings. Over here, we have this fabulous new collection from Penelope Cruz and Monica Cruz uh, from Geox. We have a lovely little collection of clothes, including little gilets, fabulous collection of gorgeous colors of cashmere sweaters, as well as all our lovely scarves. But we mustn't forget the men, of course. Uh, so we have a, a little capsule collection for our male customers. And again, their shoes from all over Spain, Italy, uh, Germany, as well as lots of lovely gifts for them. We have a fabulous collection of cards, stationery, which lots of our customers come for again and again. We have such a lovely collection of jewellery from lots of different suppliers, little individual makers, sterling silver, as well as lovely plated products too. And we're very excitingly just started to stock a lovely eau de parfum from Ampersand, which is going really well as well. And we have a, a lovely relationship and help each other out where we can. It's lovely working in Kew. It's such a lovely, warm, friendly area to be in. That was Canopy. We'll leave their lovely windows behind. And we've got so many other fantastic independents. This is Blushes. That's where we all come in the hope that somebody can make us look a bit beautiful. Been here for a long time. Really, really helpful stuff. So now to some of the other famous characters in the business. Oh. Out you come. Oh. <laughs> Out you come. Hello. And this is Paul. He's been selling flowers here forever. 34 years. And this is another character. Hello, yeah. Hi. I'm one of the characters in the village. Yeah. Me and Paul, my best friend. Macrosine is the most beautiful little cafe. Great food, actually, but affordable. It, it's based on a French Bistro, yeah, on a, a small menu, um, great choices. In summer, they have tables out on the pavement here, which is lovely. This is Ben. Ben uh, is our new local hairdresser. We love having him here. Okay. Um, finding your feet, we yep. hope. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You've got a great little team. And they do my hair. I'm not sure whether yep. that's a good advert or not, <laughs> but there, <laughs> there we go. Thanks. We've got a couple of really good dentists here in Kew, too. This is Torelli's. We get all our coffees in here. 
we've got the brilliant Good Wine Shop. Mark and his team will advise you on anything. They do stock, I think, some very expensive, very special wines, but they are also great when you're just going home at the end of the day. So that was Q in a nutshell, really. Uh, there is so much more to Q than just Q Gardens. Please come down to the village, come and have a look. We've got everything you could want here. Lovely cafes, restaurants, beautiful shops. We can't wait to see you.